Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15.4 and some really important things that you need to know regarding this update. Now, of course, this is a big update packed with a lot of new features and a lot of people will want to update to iOS 15.4. But here are some of the really important things that you need to know. Now, before we get into that, another important thing that you need to know is that the like button on this video helps out a lot. It will help this channel and the video do much, much better. And of course, even subscribing to the channel helps out a lot because most of you guys that watch the videos are currently not subscribed, so make sure you do that. As I said, iOS 15.4 is a really big update, in my opinion, the biggest update to iOS 15, bringing the biggest features. Some of them, the ability to unlock your device using a mask. This is really, really useful. If you're wearing a mask now on, you will be able to actually unlock your device. And we have other features like universal control. Apple showcased this feature at WWDC back in 2021 but it has only been released now with iOS 15.4. And of course, we have now the ability to share play from pretty much anywhere on iOS. So you can see right here from the Spotify app, I can go ahead and share play now from the share menu. And of course, we have new emojis and also the big new feature, the ability to receive payments via tap to pay. But what are some of the most important things that you actually need to know regarding this update before you update your device to iOS 15.4? So whether that be the public release of iOS 15.4 or the current betas or the public beta, if you just want to update, then these are the things you need to know. First of all, regarding the performance, I had this update since the release of beta one and it's really, really good. Now the performance has been quite stable since the release of iOS 15. And of course it has been that way until now. And of course iOS 15.4 beta doesn't make any exception. I have here the Geekbench scores and we can notice there an increase on the multi-core score while the single core score is basically the same as with previous versions as well. But of course, of course, this still has time to improve until the public release, but it's actually really, really good. It has been very stable. I didn't notice any like bugs, glitches or like freezes or stuff like that. Even though it's a beta version, it has been quite stable. Moving on to battery life. Of course, you want to know how the battery life is on this update before you install it. Battery life, quite good. If you have iOS 15.3 installed or 15.3.1 on your device, expect iOS 15.4 to have pretty much the same battery life as that update. I didn't notice any change moving from beta to, to beta one from iOS 15.3 is basically the same. I basically got the same hours and minutes on battery on screen and of course off screen with iOS 15.4 as I did with iOS 15.3. Now, of course, a lot of people will want to update the iOS 15.4 because of the new features that, of course, this update will bring. But you have to know some things. If you're updating for the ability to unlock your device while wearing a mask, just know that you will need to have an iPhone 12 or newer in order for this feature to work. So, of course, you can enable it by going to Face ID and Passcode. Right here, use Face ID with a mask. But if you have an iPhone 11 or even an 11 Pro, this won't work. And I don't believe Apple will be able to actually enable later on this feature for older devices. I believe you will need to have all the time an iPhone 12 or newer in order for this feature to work. So, of course, a lot of people will want this feature and it's very useful, even though I believe it's very, very late now. Apple had should have released this feature a long time ago, but just know that if you don't have an iPhone 12 or newer, this feature won't work on your device. The same goes for the tap to pay feature. So with iOS 15.4, Apple will most likely enable this feature. It's on the code of iOS 15.4. It has not yet been enabled, but it will most likely be enabled with this update. The ability to actually receive payments via tap to pay. But this feature won't actually work on any iPad. Currently, it's not available for iPads. So if you're expecting to do this with iPads, you won't be able to do that. And also not on all iPhones. In order for this feature to work, you will need to have an iPhone 10s or newer. If you have an older iPhone, you won't be able to actually receive payments via tap to pay, which is a big new feature that is coming with iOS 15.4. 
another thing that you should know is that a big bug that has been around since the release of iOS 15, it has now been fixed. So if you go to your settings, you go to general, and you go right here under iPhone storage, you will notice here if you're on a all the version of iOS, you will notice that this will take quite a long time to load, maybe even minutes and sometime it would just freeze here and not load at all. You can see right now it loads quite fast, so it will take about maybe like 10 seconds to load all the data here of all the storage of all the apps and that's really really good now this was persistent here until i was 15.4 beta 2 and it was actually even worse with beta 2 but now it looks to, to be fixed with ios 15.4 beta 3 and of course hopefully this will even improve in the future but now is really good it's back to normal just like it was on ios 15 actually on ios 14 with ios 15 this was a huge huge pain so if you have been experiencing this bug just know that ios 15.4 will fix that on a previous video that I did, I talked about the ability to now update your device via cellular data. So this will happen once you have installed iOS 15.4 on your device. But of course, you won't be able to actually update to iOS 15.4 using Seller because you will need iOS 15.4 to actually have this feature. So if you have this feature, then in the future, maybe on iOS 15.5 or 15.4.1, you will be able to actually update your device using Seller. Now, what you can do is just do the update directly from Seller or if you're connected to your Wi-Fi and you just leave maybe your home your office wherever you are wherever you're connected to the wi-fi network it will continue downloading the update through cellular data so the update won't be interrupted but of course you will need to first have ios 15.4 installed on your device in order for this feature to work and another thing you need to know is of course the release date of ios 15.4 so if you're waiting to install this update on your device then you will have to wait for around two to three weeks more in order to get this on your device so it's the 17th today and you can expect this update to come in March, so Apple is expected to hold an event on March the 8th. That will be, of course, the virtual event where you can expect new iPads, maybe the new iPhone SE, that will be on the 8th. So I believe either Apple will release the public version of iOS 15.4 on that day, or it will be the RC version. So if it's the public version, then of course you can expect it on the 8th after the event is over or if they release the rc version then the public version will most likely come on the 14th on a monday of course you can expect that to happen and get ios 15.4 on your device with all these big new features but of course you need to know these things before you update your device not all the big new features will be available to all devices and of course that's really really bad especially the ability to unlock with a mask on so that's basically it for this video guys thank you guys for watching the video this update is actually really really great and if you want to try it out make sure you go ahead and try it out you can install of course the public beta version and if you have of course a spare device you can go ahead and try out all the cool new features so that's basically it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and leave a like on this video i'll see you on the next one